mom is is the youngest of 13 children. Oh my. So we always would go out to my grandma's house and uh, um, and and out there and play and you know and be around plenty of aunts and uncles. My mom, my dad has a um, an older um, two sisters that were older, and they would always come and and take us out and do things. So my fortunately, fortunately, I'm I'm. And I say fortunately um, that I grew up in a very um, supportive and caring and loving home. Um, I say fortunately because as a gay person growing up in Madison County, rural North Carolina, and going to a highly conservative and I would say um, homophobic um, high school, that um, I, I greatly needed that stability and love to carry me forward. Um, so, so I mean, I can't say my childhood was great because I knew that I was gay. Um, I, I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand not being gay. Some people will say, well, whenever I was 15 or 16 or whenever I was 25, um, I don't, to me, um, as soon as I can remember, if there was an attractive boy or man, that's what I was gravitated to. I mean, I had a word for it. Um, I never had attraction towards women. Um, now, I would certainly fake it because that was what you were supposed to do. <laughs> um, and I would, oh, you know, and, and that was the tough part because with that, um, <laughs> despite being in a good family, you learn to lie. You learn to be deceptive, you learn to lie, um, or just keep quiet. Um, so here you have a kid who is already shy and kind of guarded and an introvert and so now he's heightened his, his, his awareness of what people may think or what I might say um, and those type of things. I wasn't feminine per se, um, so I was never, I mean there were a few times people may say gay boy, um, I don't think the word faggot was really, or queer was but all it takes is one or two times to hear it. And then I was the kind of person that, um, all right, well, I'll change. I see. You know, some people, you know, same people were like, I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, I was the conformist. So if I needed to conform, then I would conform um, to protect myself. How do you think that influenced your interests in, uh, as, a, as a young man, what were your interests when you were, say, in high school and elementary school? Well, so um, I was always kind of an intellectual. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed opening up the encyclopedia um, and, and looking through that. Um, I also, you know, whether it be foreign language, but, but having said that with interest, that there's, a, there's a fantasy, too, of another world, mm -hmm. you know, of another place, of another um, realm. Um, and that type of thing, and I, the I don't know if I'm uh, the fellow who played um, Leslie Jordan, I think that's his name, Beverly Leslie, on Will and Grace. He had a show, um, one man show, and he was talking about how when he was a kid, you know, he would write in a diary, mm -hmm. and he would be in his bedroom and write in a diary all of his secrets, and and that's kind of the way I would feel. It's like you know, you're in your bedroom and. You're fantasizing about your secrets. You're talking about your secrets. You have your wants and your wishes. Um, but I never told anybody, you know, until I was 18. Um, but um, so, so that developed anxiety tremendous. I still have anxiety today. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of learned throughout the years. Um, so certainly one of the things that I had interest in was psychology. Um, okay. And that type of thing. So, um, and yes, I mean, I went to a Southern Baptist church and um, was liked and liked the people there, but I knew based on what was being told, not directly to me, but that being gay was wrong based on the Southern Baptist perspective. And um, I mean, I was, I was, I grew up in this church, I was the organist at this church whenever I was in the ninth grade. Um, but uh, you just survive, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. And you do, there's a certain period of time. I would say I, I, I knew a being gay um, early on, 
Um, we don't tell anybody. Um, and then you do try to change or pray the gay away or that because you're stuck and you don't know what to do. Right. Um, so I would say between um, eighth grade, ninth grade, and tenth grade, because that was a, quite a difficult transition from elementary school to high school, because I was went to a very small elementary school, and where everybody knew each other, and there was a community. And then when you go to high school, it became highly more competitive, because I was from a small town, and it was one high school for one county. And so all of a sudden, I'm now the low man on the totem pole. And um, so not only um, was I, I that transition from elementary school to high school, but now there's expectations of dating. So before I could kind of, you know, put it to the side. Right. But now you're, you're, you're now in high school and there's expectations of how you're supposed to behave and peer pressure. Mm -hmm. So that um, greatly increased my anxiety.